All right, we got team of the season moments. Turkey, let's take a look at them and let's try them out. We're looking at a card that has five star skill moves with a five star weak foot, high low work rates, and he is 5'10. Current acceleration type is controlled explosive, 93 pace, 92 shooting, 93 passing, 95 dribbling, 84 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, he looks like he's going to be an all around great center attacking midfielder in this game. We are definitely drawn to that dribbling since it is at 95. And with those amazing dribbling stats and the fact how he is five foot ten, you can already assume that he is gonna feel really responsive on the ball. So his lessic dribbling should be one of his strengths. Hopefully we get some good gameplay today, just so we can get the full experience of his dribbling and test out how good it can really be in this game. Because I honestly do expect it to be really effective. The recommended chemistry style for this card is gonna be that hunter, just so you can max out his pace and his shooting as much as possible. You get a plus eight to his finishing, basically maxing out that stat. Along with the shot power, it's going to complement very well with each other and allow Sky to be really reliable when it does come to finishing. The plus 4 to his attacking positioning is going to max out his attacking positioning, which is definitely going to help out his attacking AI. He's got the 93 long shot, so it's going to allow him to be a threat outside of the box as well. Also with the Hunter, you get a plus 8 to his sprint speed, basically maxing out that stat. And obviously, you are going to max out that acceleration as well. Center attacking midfielder in this game doesn't necessarily need to be the quickest on the pitch. Because of how well-rounded his in-game stats really are, the Hunter Kenji style makes the most sense. So you're basically just going to get a nice, well-added bonus to this card by maxing out his pace. His passing stats are fantastic for a center attacking midfielder as well. In 94 short pass, 88 long pass, and 98 vision. He's also got that 99 curve as well, which could come in clutch. And lastly, his physical stats are pretty good. 88 strength, 75 aggression. For a guy that's 5'10", that's honestly fantastic. So let's see how he holds up when people are trying to knock him off the ball. Not quite sure how I feel about that 85 stamina though, but we will honestly just have to wait and see. When we do dive into his play styles, he has 10 play styles and 3 play style pluses in the incisive pass plus, the technical plus, and the trickster plus. The incisive pass plus is going to allow this guy's three balls to be really, really good in this game. The technical plus is going to allow his control dribbling to feel absolutely cracked in this game, and it could be really effective if you do use it correctly. And lastly, with the trickster going to allow you to have a lot of fun utilizing those five star skill moves also makes them significantly more agile when strafe dribbling so that l1 or lb mechanic is going to be really really good with this card he's got the chip shot so one of them with the keeper is going to be effective regular power shot is going to be completely useless so i'm not quite sure how effective this is going to be dead ball so he's going to be good at set pieces tiki taka he's going to be good in those close quarter spaces when it does come to passing flare trait's going to add to the effectiveness of his dribbling first touch obviously going to add to his ball control and could be clutch on top and inside of the box and lastly, he also does got the Travella as to the versatility of his finishing. Now, I'm actually really bummed out that he doesn't have the finesse shot playstyle. I really like the finesse shot playstyle in this game. It really helps a lot of people out when it does come to finishing. But we will just have to see how well Cherokee can be without the finesse shot playstyle. He does got the 5-star weak foot, so I still do think that is going to come in handy when it does come to finishing. For this review, we will be trying out Cherokee as our main center attacking midfielder in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Just so he can be our main focal point of our attack and just so i can test out his attacking ai as much as possible and see how he plays under two strikers and above two midfielders so with that being said Cherky has the potential to be a very good card in this game especially since he does got the five star five star so let's hop into the gameplay and let's see how good this Cherky card can really be Cherky, wall die great finish Cherky, bronze keeper wall die beautiful Great ball into Mbappe there. Turkey, what a great run there. Far post. Probably should have went a little bit closer. A little more space there. Well done. A little patience there. Great run in there. Far post, beautiful. Man, he's been picking up some really good spaces so far. I know it's really early on, small sample size. Makes another fantastic run in there. Our post. Beautiful. Again, dude. Look at that, man. He's like old technical. Fantastic. Again, if they have the play style, you might as well utilize it. Just don't spam it because if you do, then you'll be a rat. Use it correctly, you're not a rat. You're just using it to your advantage. That's it. Nice. That's lovely. Great space on top of the box. Wow, what a finish. Perfection in that top right corner. Put him in there. Get to the outside. Far post. Well done. 
Wow, no. He doesn't miss those. That's where I would like the finesse shot. Hey, with his weak foot there, with the five star weak foot. I guess I gotta use this Travella there. Turkey. A great space right there. Wow, again, what a save by Muslera. Well done. Nice. Beautiful. Great run, Turkey. That's what I'm talking about, man. That bring out his keeper for post. Beautiful. Wow, he actually missed that one. This one should be going in, buddy. Not gonna lie. I would say it's a rare miss for him because so far he's been finishing everything. Tricky. Beautiful. Well done. I'll take that. There you go. Go, Tricky. Go, Tricky. Well done. That's beautiful. Yes, no. I really had to hit the post there, didn't I? Tricky. Well done. Very little turn there. Close quarters, but I'm shocked to even turn there, if I'm honest. Great ball in there. Chips the keeper. Unlucky, man. Really, Cam, you stink. Yes. Bang. There you go. Beautiful. Quick little turn, love that. Nice, that's beautiful. Close quarters right there, amazing. Great space, great finish, man. All right, now let's really pay attention to Tricky's attacking AI here. Great low run in there. That's exactly what I want to see. Unlucky with the block. Bounce it back to see where he moves now. Wider area, because that's where the space is. Bounce it back. Now he's back in a central position. Good. Put a wide... On top of the box, inside the box now. A little bit deeper on the buildup. Advances though, middle of the pitch. Great little space in there. Off the back, see so where he moves now. Great space in there. In that space there. Beautiful. Unlucky with the shot, but still great spacing. Just staying underneath the two strikers right now, picking up that wider area now. That's okay, because that's where the space is. Ricky, nice little space in there again. Fix it right back up. Far post. Well done. That's beautiful. Link up play. That is what you want to see. All right. So in terms of Turkey's attacking AI, he's doing all the right things. The center attack and midfielder should be doing. Picking up the right spaces in the midfield to help out the buildup. Picking up good spaces inside and on top of the box. Going out wide if the space is there and open. Picking up one of the striker positions if one of them do drop a little bit deeper. Everything you need in a center attack and midfielder's movements. Turkey definitely does it, and that right there is a very, very good sign for his attacking AI. All right, so when it comes to team of the season moments, Turkey, I can definitely say that he is a pretty good card in this game, mainly because of how well-rounded he really feels in this game. There are a lot of good features about him. He does a lot of good things, so let's get right into it. Let's start off with his dribbling because I did notice that his left stick dribbling was pretty responsive effective inside the box and that's exactly what you want out of a player like this you can utilize the technical plus with the control dribbling to be really really effective as well and because of the trickster plus you can use that l1 dribbling mechanic and that can be really effective as well his shooting is actually pretty consistent for the most part five star weak foot definitely helps him out in that department inside the box i did find that he was really clinical the only problem is that he isn't really effective outside the box because he doesn't have at least the finesse shot play style yeah, you can utilize the Travella out there, but we all know how terrible the Travellas are outside of the box, specifically after the nerf. So since he doesn't have the finesse out play style, it kind of lacks his versatility outside of the box, which kind of hurts his card a little bit when it comes to finishing. Inside the box, he's really, really consistent. He's fantastic. I just wish that this guy had the element of being effective outside the box because it could have made him a little bit more dangerous in this game and could have made him a little bit better as well. Power shot is completely useless. That's why it doesn't really help him outside of the box. And, and obviously with the chip shot, it's just a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. I wish he was a threat outside of the box because my God, if he was, he could have been even more effective in this game. But with how his play styles are set up right now and how consistent his finishing is inside the box, with how good his dribbling is, you can get inside the box with this player and that's where you'll do a lot of damage because he's very consistent in there. His pace felt pretty good as well. It's obviously not going to be a strong suit. It's not the thing that needs to stand out for a center attack and midfielder. But for the most part, when he did make those runs in behind the back line, he was pretty threatening. And you could also utilize his pace to get by some defenders in this game as well. Unfortunately, I did find that he did get knocked off the ball pretty easily. I don't think that 8-8 strength shows. He's definitely weaker than that. 
So just make sure you guys are aware of that before you go out and pick up this card. And lastly, I didn't really show too much of his passing. But I'll tell you guys this right now, it is very good in this game, mainly because of the incisive pass plus. Putting your strikers or wingers in behind the back line with this playstyle definitely helps out. And it helps you avoid those interceptions. And also with the Tiki Taka playstyle, it's extremely underrated. You can notice it when he is passing in those close quarter spaces on top and inside of the box. Especially when your opponent is parking the bus, this playstyle right here is definitely going to come in clutch. And you'll definitely notice a difference in this card's passing. So in general, Turkey is a pretty good card in this game. He's actually pretty fun to use, especially because of the 5 star 5 star. Now, is he worth his current price tag? I definitely have to say that he is not. If he drops lower in price, maybe around 250,000 coins, I think that is the right price tag for him. But I would wait a little bit to go and pick up this card if you guys are on a budget. But if you guys do have a lot of coins to spare, if you guys just want to try a new team with a season card, by all means, go out and pick up this card. You'll have a lot of fun with them. But once again, if you guys are on a budget, wait for his price tag to drop. And then I'll definitely recommend you guys go out and pick up this card. Cheaper price tag, and he's definitely going to be worth that value. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe for some more EAFC content and for some more player reviews. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.